tech platform for frontline workers, Better Place has just launched its Frontline Index report for 2022, which finds that India created 8 million frontline jobs in FY22 compared to about 7 million the year before. And unsurprisingly, the bulk of these came from the e-commerce sector. To talk about this year's trends and the outlook for next year, I have with me two very special guests. Uh, Praveen Agarwala, the co-founder and CEO at Better Place, and Tarun Sinha, the CEO of the Enterprise Business. Praveen and Tarun, thank you very much for your time. Uh, Praveen, let me start with you. What were some of the key findings of the report this year? So I think in last year, as you must have seen the report as mm. well, Ritu, uh, we added more than 8 million jobs uh, mm. in the industry, around 55, 60 percentage coming from the new age companies like e-commerce, logistics, and so on. Mm. Uh, rest coming from the traditional economy, retail, BFSI, you know, those. Uh, the other interesting thing we saw is that uh, there is a jump and shift in the gig economy. People are moving towards gig workers, especially mm. the uh, logistics, e-commerce, or the new age, of course, but yeah. also increasing in uh, the traditional economy as well, like retail or hospitality, QSR, and so mm. on and so forth. We also see huge adoption of technology coming in, yeah. uh, be it uh, learning, for example, uh, using our own platform. Uh, uh, we trained roughly 2 million people last year uh, mm. on the mobile app itself. Mm. So there's a huge shift from traditional way of doing things to the new age digital way, right? Mm. Uh, the other uh, shift that we are seeing is that people who uh, migrated back to their uh, hometowns during pandemic, yeah. they've also started coming back to the city. Mm. While the percentage of migration has gone slightly up, mm. overall jobs have increased, so people have also started looking for opportunities within their towns and cities as well, right? Mm. So while the migration percentage has increased, the local opportunities are also increasing at the same time. These okay. are some of the very interesting findings okay. that uh, we have. We'll get to some of the specifics in just a bit, but Tarun, uh, you know, FY22 was a relatively better year when we compare it to the first year of the pandemic and a lot of job losses were faced, especially by the gig workers. How many of those jobs have really come back since? I would say predominantly most of them and even more. So mm. the demand has drastically jumped up in the last year. Some industries are actually leading it, to be very frank. Mm. What is also happening is that, uh, uh, like Praveen mentioned, this flexibility of work that is coming in. So yeah. uh, I would say the future is entrepreneur. So while the demand has come back in full flow, I see a shift happening when it comes to the fact that I want flexi work, mm. I want to work at my own time, and can I increase my income by doing that? Yeah. Because the challenge is the salary is a little lower in this ecosystem. How, do, how does the worker manage that? So actually, Praveen, let me put that question to you. The salaries, they still remain at around 21, 22,000 per month uh, for these frontline workers and these gig workers. Um, what is the sort of trend we've seen over the years? Because compared to the high inflation that the country has been facing, the salaries haven't really moved up much. Yeah, so average salary last year was around 21,000. This year it has gone to 22,500 uh, odd bucks, so it has gone yeah. slightly up. But unfortunately, it's still not uh, matching the inflation, right? Inflation mm. went up by almost 14, 15 percentage, while the increase is around 8 percentage, right? Mm. So people are still losing money from an inflation point of view. Mm. But some of the sectors are paying slightly higher, where there is a gigification or there is a potential to earn more money per day or per hour. Yeah. But there are other industries where the salaries are pegged at kind of uh, uh, minimum wage, right? If you look mm. at retail, for example, or security and, and mm. other industries, uh, and it, if you look at our data also, mm. uh, retail is one of the lowest paying uh, salary, uh, mm. while logistics pays higher because of flexibility and so on. Range could vary anything between 12,000 rupees to 28,000 rupees. Okay. That's a range that we see. And, and compared to pre-pandemic, uh, how much of an increase uh, would the workers have uh, more seen? More or less remain the same. Um, so there hasn't group. been an so there is no change, effect. but what has changed is that uh, the benefits have started kicking in. Mm. Pre-pandemic, you were not bothering about giving health benefits or insurance yeah. or stay or food or hygiene and other things. Now yeah. organizations are very particular about it. What would FI23 look like? We believe this would be a growth of around 20 percentage the, uh, the next year, which mm. would be close to 9.5 to 10 million. Okay, uh, and where will these still jobs believe, be created? We still believe 50 percentage to 60 percent or percentage of that will come in the e-commerce logistics sector. We will see growth across industries. Of course, the growth was dominated by logistics and e-commerce last year. Yeah. That will change to retail and hospitality. All right, on that note, Praveen and Tarun, thank you so much for your time.